Hey everybody, it's Lisa from my T-Vault and I have a box opening and I'm excited to tell you that it comes from a T plus and I want you to see all that. Had already opened it but I have not dug inside yet. I wanted to save that for when we're together. I have my water brewing and I am ready to go. I just want to tell you a short story of how I came in contact with the T plus. Um, the Chicago Tea Festival. Contacted them, have an idea of something that I want to do while I'm there, so you're going to want to find me. Come up to me when you are at the festival, you know, and say, hey, I got and I'm going to have something for you. It's going to be from various companies, and I'm really excited about it, and there's more about that in the future. But anyway, um, on my Instagram, I have a couple pictures of my cat, Rango, and um, I got in touch with a Wittold, and he has a cat too. He has a Maine Coon. Oh my gosh, it is the most beautiful cat, and it's just so furry and fluffy, and it's got like blacks and whites, a little bit of gray in there. Ah, it's beautiful. So um, we got into a conversation about cats and how my cat's kind of like a diva, and she runs the house. Trust me, it's a wonder she's not up here now. But anyway. So we got in touch with each other, and we've been communicating back and forth, and so I got some tea sent to me, and I'm excited about that. And like I said, I just opened the box to save you from dealing with me having to get inside the box, okay? So we're gonna open it up now, and we're going to see what's in here. Oh my God, <laughs> oh my, yeah, I, seriously, I, didn't, I thought this was um, like paper. These are all teas, oh my gosh. This is amazing. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, wow. Um, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna tell you about some of these teas. So this is a Salon Black Tea, and I'm probably gonna mess up some of these names, but bought from the Sienta factory in Sri Lanka. Um, it's a single state black Salon tea and it's an orange picoe. So, yes, my favorite tea. What do we got here? Oh, oh yes, um, a Salon Black Tea with cinnamon. Oh, I can't wait to try, the, we're gonna try this one. I have been on a cinnamon kick probably for the past few months. We're gonna, we're gonna sample this one, for sure, for sure. Um, a Salon Green Tea with Jasmine. Ooh, that sounds fun too. It's a 100% pure Salon Green Tea Bacoey with it's blended with jasmine pearls and jasmine oils. That's lovely. Sounds divine. Um, Ceylon black tea with Earl Grey. Earl Grey used to be, well, it, it used to be my favorite. It's still one of my favorites, but it was the number one tea that I would always try. Um, when I somebody asks me, what do you want me to send? Send me an Earl Grey. You know, now I tell people send me whatever you want because I love trying teas and I love telling people about them. Uh, this is just a Salon Black Tea from the Kenilworth Estate. Okay, so oh, this would be fun. Where's that other one? And so here's one from the Sienta Factory. Ooh, we might do a comparison. We might do that. Let's see the differences. Ooh, um, Salon Black Tea with turmeric. That would be fun. Oh, it has marigold petals in it too. Oh my gosh, yes! Um, an English breakfast tea, love this. Oh my gosh, black tea, black tea, black tea. Oh, with ginger, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay. Oh, that's so much fun, thank you so much. We are gonna have so much fun talking about your teas and sharing them with everybody. I, hmm, I wanna pick two. Let's see, let's see, we're not gonna do those two because I think I'm gonna compare those just to do a black tea comparison, I don't know. Just be fun. Um, let's do the green tea with jasmine. I think that'll be fun. Um, and it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna put you on hold for a minute and I'll be right back. Bye. Okay, so I kind of shut the blind back there. It kind of gives off a big kind of glow. I've got the teas brewing. Um, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. First of all, this is the Ceylon black tea with cinnamon. Um, you know what, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like I thought it would smell. 
I thought it would smell definitely like more cinnamon, but it doesn't. It has a, um, a unique scent to it. It's sweet. And you know what it is? I'll make a bet on it. it the cinnamon I'm smelling is not what I'm used to cinnamon smelling like, if you know what I mean. I live in the United States, so a lot of um, the stuff that we use to add spices and stuff has been so processed that it loses a lot of its uh, um, natural naturalness. You know what it really smelt like? Um, rosemary, for example. I use rosemary on my chicken. Well, this year I grew rosemary in my herb garden, and when I pulled it out, you know, dried it. I've got some things drying over there now, but when I dried it. It, does, it smells so much stronger and there's such a different scent to it than the bottled stuff that I've been buying in the store. So anyway, oh, let me, I can't, there's something, but can you see? Okay. And I don't really distinguish, okay, there's this and I'm sure, oops, let me get this out, that this is probably the cinnamon. It is. <laughs> it's a cinnamon bark. Mmm. I like the way that it tastes. It tastes truly different. I'm just going to throw that in there. And it's brewing. We're going to give it a few more minutes. Um, okay, it's got a little bit of cinnamon oil in it. You know what I like too is. Um, the Tees Plus, Ceylon Tees, they tell me exactly what is in here. Oh look, I didn't even notice it has, it has a window in the back so you can see the tea, all right? I love that. So I don't have to even open it to like be able to see it and see what it's like. I like holding it. Sometimes I like tasting it. So um, yeah, like it doesn't tell me natural flavors. It tells me what flavors it's put in the tea. I love that. I absolutely love it. Tell us what we're eating and drinking. Okay, look. Ah. So this is the green tea with jasmine. I don't know if you can see that, but I was, my, I just poured in a little bit. I'm using my gawang and I poured in a little bit and my, that's like smells, the jasmine just overtook, just overtook. So fragrant, oh man. So there that is. And the jasmine really takes over. Oh, I love this. There's some petals. Is that the marigold? Is that what's in here? Um, jasmine petals and jasmine oil. So, all right, so these are all just the different petals, but this just is actually, look, it's like the flower, the petal. See? All right, so, ah, I'll just throw that in there too, huh? All right, let's see what we've got here. I've got my friend. He needs a name. This has this was my very first tea pet. Um, and he's got the lucky coin in his mouth. And I have always just treasured him. It was given to me as a gift. And he is with me all the time. I favor him over all the other ones that I have just because he's so cool. Yeah. So get ready here. Let's try this Salon cinnamon tea. Come on, come on. It's got a beautiful amber color. It's a little bit of a, I don't know, you could say like a burnt, burnt hue to it, burnt orange color. It's really warm. Now, it isn't as sweet as what it smells, but wow, that is really good. It's got a little bit, like a little bit of an aftertaste. It just kind of lingers in the back of your mouth. Very smooth. And even though I said it isn't sweet, there's a bit of like milkiness to it. Almost like
like a honey flavor. The cinnamon isn't real prominent, so it's not like a cinnamon tea, but it is a black tea with a cinnamon um, flavor, a little cinnamon accent to it in the back. Oh, I really like that. I love this. Ah, this tea is awesome. Um, trying to think of something that reminds me of, but it, it definitely, the black tea, where is this at here? Um, I love the fact, I wish I could show you, but how it, the, leaves look. Sometimes when you pour it, you get a little bit of tea, pea particles in there, but that's okay. Yeah. This tea's awesome. I tell you what, if you've got like a cinnamon craving, you probably want to get this. It's not like sprinkled with cinnamon. It appears to have cinnamon, um, like the bark, of the cinnamon in it so the brewing it kind of just lingers in there but the black tea takes precedent over everything and it's not overpowering it's just like a nice little medley i really like that hmm. okay all right on to the next tea <laughs> see what are we doing now my jasmine tea has really taken over my cup let's see what we got here I know it's gonna be strong. Jasmine's strong because it smelled while it was brewing. Ooh. Now let me tell you, green tea a lot of times has like a vegetal scent to it, and this does. But it's also mixed with the um, with the jasmine petals. Wow, it's different. Hmm, because a lot of times you see that jasmine tea and it's mixed with um, an oolong or a black tea, and I don't often see it mixed with a green tea, so this is a little unique for me. That's why I wanted to try it too. Let me see here. Wow. So it's not, it is not real vegetal at all fill this cup up a little bit more. There we go. It's a little bit bitter, a little bit. That floral, that floral is just like, wow. It's like right there, you can feel it. And the aftertaste is a lovely, it's a divine, that floral, that jasmine. It's just like right there. It's in the top and the palette. Oh man. Now see as I get down to the bottom, it um, and of course there are more and more particles in there too, but it's a little stronger. I really like that. It's a different take with the jasmine flower. And jasmine, it's strong and wow, and relaxing. But yet green tea is kind of a um, kind of motivator and gets you going. So it has like a nice balance to it. And like even in your mouth, you can like feel the excitement of the green tea, but the balance of the jasmine. It's like all calming. <laughs> oh my God. I I can't tell you. I need a better setup that I feel like I'm so far away. <laughs> that slight, there's just that slight bitterness. I do not add sweeteners to any of my teas. Even personally, when I drink a tea, it's always no sweeteners, no honey, no nothing. Because I want to taste the tea and the essence of the tea. Hold on, I gotta grab this real fast. A little bit and I don't want it running off the table okay so we tried two of the teas 
You want to try a couple more? I think so. Why not? I'm here. Um, let me clean up this mess a bit and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And so what I did, I had, I have these two black teas, but we're going to wait on that because I'm going to do a comparison. And then I, I waited on the, the English breakfast and the Earl Grey. I don't know, just because. But I went with the Ceylon black tea with ginger and the Ceylon black tea with turmeric. Oh my gosh. So let me tell you a story while well, this is brewing ginger. I would not even try ginger. You couldn't get me to put it in my mouth. It was gross. I didn't like it. My daughter ate it all the time. And she loves ginger, talks about ginger. Oh, ginger, ginger, blah, you know. And I used to buy ginger um, gum like as a joke for her and she would love it. And then all of a sudden, something changed. And I began to really love ginger to where now I even have a, a straight ginger root tea. All it is is cut up ginger root and I love it. So we're gonna try this ginger and the turmeric. And one thing I noticed, ginger to me smells um, like antiseptic. It smells like it, it, it cleanses. And that, I get that with this and it's a little bit, man. Okay, the marigold. I was gonna say, I'm getting a little bit of a, a floral and I can see the marigold in there. Whoop. Let me show you some of that. You can see it. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Another thing I love about this tea is it isn't bits and pieces. It is lovely tea that has been processed and rolled, if you can see it. I don't know how well that does. I never know how well it does until I uh, review it, but I love that. It's not like those cut up little pieces. Those can be really strong. And then the turmeric just smells like a spice to me. Um, It's got that spicy, spicy. And this is a little bit, can you see? So it's got those little pieces and it looks like it might have the same marigold petals in it. Um, whoo, it's getting hot. <laughs> I hate air conditioning, so I avoid it. And nobody likes that, that I avoid it. Um, but I should probably turn the air on, it's getting hot in here. So we're gonna finish with these two for right now. I might come back and do the other two later. Tonight, I don't know, we'll see. But let's give it a try. Hey, come up with a name for him. Can you see him? I think it's a him. He just looks like a guy. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Why does he look like a guy, Lisa? We don't know. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's a beautiful shade. A very deep, not real deep, I mean. Can you see the color? I didn't show you the color of the other ones. Sometimes it doesn't matter to people. I just tell you, because I think you might want to know. Oh, <laughs> okay, this tea's sneaky. This ginger tea is a sneaky tea. So you're gonna take your first sip of this tea, okay? Mm. And you're gonna be like, I taste black tea, kind of floral. Oh, there's the ginger. And you're gonna feel the ginger just kind of like warm your mouth up. Not bad, not a, not like a, your mouth is on fire, like I just ate a red hot fireball or whatever, but you can feel the warmth of the ginger. And it just kind of like sneaked you, it gets you at the end. I like that. That's fun. That is really fun. I love how it's like the black tea presents itself with a little bit of floral, very like a very light touch of floral. And then all of a sudden the ginger just kind of like 
grows on you. This tea, you got to try this tea for sure. This tea's a must, okay? Black tea with ginger. And, and not all black teas with ginger do this. I mean, I like the way this kind of just gets you. Hmm. Okay, moving on, Lisa. People have, don't want to watch your videos all day, or do you? Do you want to watch my videos all day? I know you guys like the videos more. I see a lot more people viewing the videos than the blogs. So maybe we're more visual people. I know I'm a more visual people. At work, you can tell me all day what to do. But if you show me, I got it, okay? We just, um, we are just moving on into a different format at work and I'm taking some video classes. Got it, a little bit of notes, got it. But if I would have had to have listened to a speaker, yeah. But video, we are very, we are visual people. We really are. And maybe that's the internet error. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, this has a warmth to it. Um, the color, it's a little darker amber. Probably the darkest of the teas so far today that I've tried here. nice blend. I would have to say that this, the turmeric, turmeric in this tea, presents itself first. And then you get that little bit like that, the black tea, the earthiness of the black tea hits you just a little but it's blended so well. Like there is just a right amount of everything. I don't taste a whole lot of floral in this one with the, um, with the marigold leaves. Now this kind of brewed up pretty strong. That might've been me putting in too much tea. And you know, turmeric is so um, healthy for us. It's healthy for our joints and our, um, you know, our movement and our bones. Um, this is good for us when we kind of get achy, you know, stiff necks, things like that. Working out on the yoga too much. Is there such a thing? Can you work out at yoga too much? Yes, because everything is in moderation. I'm learning that everything, even tea. I like that. Now that one came in, I got a little bit more of the turmeric in there. But what, what a great combination. What a great selection, sample of teas. Thank you so much for sending these to me. And oh, I almost forgot, where is it? My buddy, uh, uh, my buddy Praveen Sirvi, uh, you asked me today to have a cup for you. So, buddy, at the end of this, I'm gonna be having a cup for you, all right? So these are either single origin, they are either single estate, single region teas. They are divine, I really like them. You can find them at www.tplus.com or I'll put the rest up there for you. They are 100% pure Ceylon black teas. And oh my gosh, there's so much fun stuff here. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much, Witold, for sending me these for, um, I didn't expect this. I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm going to enjoy these and I'm gonna be sharing them with people and letting them also taste the teas. That's something that I do. I don't keep them all for myself. I share them, I tell people about them. Um, so other than that, we need to name this guy. Um, I don't know, he needs a name. You need a name. And 
Praveen, this one's for you. You guys have a great day. Let me know what's in your cup. Comment below. I'd like to hear from you. Bye. Yeah, it's that ginger tea. <laughs> it's really good.